What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to talk you through what a day of zero or low waste eating looks like. I don't want to label it zero waste eating because I think that's a really unachievable goal for most people. It is for me in my house, given that I like to eat a varied and balanced diet. So in this video, I will show you what a typical day of eating looks like for me with a low waste focus. But I hope that you can get some inspiration from this video and you can tailor some of these meals to suit your own needs and give you some inspo to get into the kitchen today. That's where I'm heading next because it's lunchtime and I'm starving. So before we go any further, if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. That really helps me out. And also please don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you get notified every time I post a video. So to kickstart my day, I always, always started with porridge oats. I have done this for the last six or seven years and it has just never changed for me. The only thing that changes is the variation of ingredients that I include. So at the moment, I've been absolutely loving cavernous porridge oats from Aldi, which come in a recyclable bag and are also 100% organic and cinnamon and apple. Today, I've just included cinnamon and oh my God, honestly, this combination is just incredible if you're a cinnamon lover you will not go back from cinnamon porridge and to add that little bit of a protein boost obviously because the gym is really important to me and I tend to stay away from any kind of protein powders I add in an egg these eggs are free range which is incredibly important if you do eat eggs and also they come in a compostable carton which I compost in my home compost system I know the addition of an egg into your breakfast can sound really, really weird, but actually it makes your porridge so delicious and so creamy and really adds bulk and volume to keep you full throughout the day. So this is not only a really healthy and nutritious way to start the day, it's also a fantastic zero waste win. Give it a go, let me know if you try cinnamon porridge down below and let me know what you think of it. I guarantee you will love it and if you're feeling really adventurous, you could even saute some apple. You've got unbelievable cinnamon apple porridge. So that's breakfast covered. However, if you're like me and you are a grazer and you get peckish really, really easily, then you want to have something that you can snack on that's quick and ready to go and zero waste. And for me, that tends to be a gorgeous piece of fruit. Now, Aldi and Super Value are absolutely fantastic for their zero waste fruit. No, it's not perfect. There are some things that are still in packaging that you would ideally like to buy, but for the most part, you can get loose bananas, loose apples, loose oranges, loose mangoes. The list really is quite endless. So we always have a selection of fresh fruit in the house to snack on throughout the day that are outside of those nasty plastic bags. When it comes to lunch, I have been absolutely addicted to shashuska. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I find it really, really hard to say shashuska. Shashuska. Shashushka comes from the Arabic word meaning all mixed up. So essentially what you see is what you get. It really tastes as good as it looks. So it's a mixture of peppers, tomatoes, cumin, all mixed and sauteed together and topped with a fried egg. Oh my God, this is just, it's honestly, it's delicious. And it's so easy to make. It's so deceptively simple. What I'll do is I'll leave a recipe in the description box below so that you can try this out for yourself. And honestly, if you have time to make this on your lunch break or if you have time to make it at the weekend when you're at home, it really is a dish that will become a staple in your weekly routine because it is just that simple and that delicious. So the best part of this is that all your ingredients are loose and packaging free and the only recyclable byproduct is your tin of chopped tomatoes, which again is really really, really easily recyclable material. Just make sure you are responsible and you clean it out and dry it appropriately before popping it into your recycling bin. So this is another serious win for your health, for nutrition, and for your impact on the environment. Even more so though, it's absolutely brilliant because it is a one pot wonder, which just saves on the washing up, which everybody in my house knows I absolutely hate. Again, after lunch, you will 100% find me getting peckish and reaching into the covers for something to snack on. So I used to absolutely love reaching for protein bars or any kind of date or nut bar, but having learned that that packaging is what's called a composite material, so it is not recyclable, I've tried to steer clear of them as much as I can. Now granted, hands up, I still do occasionally buy them because I really do love the taste. However, when I can, I will choose to have some home popped popcorn in place of those bars. So I got these loose popcorn kernels from the Dublin Food Co-op and I popped them into my own jar 
and honestly if you've never tried home pop popcorn it is so easy all you need to do is grab a ceramic bowl something that can go in your microwave pop in a thin layer of kernels cover it with some kind of a lid whether that's plastic or a tea towel it literally just stops the kernels from popping all over your microwave pop it on high for two to three minutes again the same as a bag until you stop hearing those kernels popping and you have unbelievable gorgeous fresh home cooked zero waste popcorn and you can add whatever you like to this whether it's sugar salt or butter i absolutely love 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 sweet popcorn so you will find me with a teaspoon of sugar sprinkling it over my popcorn so the best thing about this is that you have complete control over your calorie intake and the quantity of salt or sugar that you're consuming and you also avoid the plastic packaging and the paper packaging that comes along with buying microwavable popcorn from the shop so it's a fantastic easy zero waste solution one warning with this though please be really really careful when when you're handling the bowl because it gets extremely extremely hot so have an oven glove on standby you will need to let that bowl cool down for just a couple of minutes before you go near it again if i'm still feeling peckish throughout the day i love 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 to snack on black olives i mean i will literally eat the entire jar of olives now I know that these are an imported product from elsewhere in the EU. However, we want to make sure that we're eating a balanced diet. So this is one area where I don't compromise. And the benefit of buying them in a glass jar is that your glass jar can be reused for your bulk purchases or it can go into your glass recycling. So I do tend to save some of my larger jars for bulk produce when I do visit the bulk markets and also just as storage containers in general. Moving on to dinner then. Given the weather that we've been having lately, the heat has just been killing my appetite. So for dinner at the moment, I've been tending to reach for big salads and burrito bowls. So today I had a vegan burrito bowl and I love burrito bowls. If you've never had one, I would urge you to try it. They're so simple. Again, I feel like all the recipes in this video are really, really simple. And even if you're not used to cooking or you're not particularly great at it, they're really easy recipes to start learning to cook with. So it's a hearty mix of beans and guacamole and salsa all spiced up and you really can't go wrong with that. Making your own salsa and guacamole are super simple and again all of these things are so deceiving that you won't believe how easy it is when you actually try it yourself. It really takes such a short amount of time and it packs a flavour punch that you won't want to reach for the shop bought ones again because you're avoiding all those nasty additives, you're avoiding the waste products, and it's a big achievement to cook your own food at home. I always feel that anyway. I feel a sense of accomplishment when I create a new recipe from scratch. Our only waste products came from the tins that I was using for the beans and the sweet corn. And I am in the process of seeing, can I source some of these beans from bulk markets? They're just something that I haven't yet got around to switching out, but are on my list of switch outs, along with ensuring that I I refill my spice containers at local bulk market and avoiding meat in this dish whether it is only one or two times a week that you do this you are going to have an extremely large impact on your wider carbon footprint now we are not a vegan household by any means we are not a vegetarian household we do consume meat but we do think it is incredibly important to have, for example, a meatless Monday in your house where everybody will just try and go meatless for the day. All of these small impacts add up as we move towards a more eco-friendly lifestyle and learn more about the benefits of actually reducing meat consumption in our diet. Now this is a really, really simple recipe. Of course, you can add in more peppers. You can add in different types of beans. You really can throw in whatever you have in the cupboard. The only thing that I wouldn't compromise on in this recipe is that guac and salsa because what is life without guac and salsa? And it is my favorite time of the day besides breakfast. It is dessert time. And for dessert, I tend to have the same thing basically every day. So I used to eat dark chocolate from Aldi. However, I've turned away from that because the foil inside is actually not recyclable. For example, if you eat Moser Roth, so I have switched to a brand called Loving Earth. Now this is an Australian brand that I initially learned of when I was in Australia. And so I literally bulk bought 60 Australian dollars worth of chocolate and brought it home in my suitcase. Not gonna lie, there isn't much of it left. However, I absolutely love this brand because they really respect the local indigenous communities that grow their cacao for them. It is compostable packaging from start to finish, which you can compost at home and which I have done really, really successfully. They're plant-based, organic, they're sustainable, dairy-free, cane-free, sugar-free, gluten-free, soy-free, compostable. I know you can 100% get this from Nourish in Dublin, which stocks online, and you can also get it from Holland and Bart. So it is available to buy if you are in Ireland. And my last dessert slash 
snack option for the day if I'm feeling particularly peckish. Usually if I've done a fairly intense gym session, I do like to have rice cakes with peanut butter and bananas. Now most rice cake packaging is not recyclable. So if you're purchasing from Aldi, that is not going to be a recyclable material. However, if you buy from the brand Calo or Kalo, they do have a recycling scheme in place for their more popular brands of rice cakes. So the packaging is not only thinner, but it is also recyclable with carrier bags at larger supermarket stores. And just for your information, when something says that on the packaging, if you check at your supermarket, they will usually tell you if they accept them or not. Collection points are usually located at the front of your shop. So if you're not sure, just ask a member of staff and they should be able to help you on that one. So then I will also add my loose banana and some Meridian peanut butter. Meridian peanut butter being in a 100% recyclable container and the sheer size of their container I buy the one kilo ones means that you can use them for storage of many other products What I love about Meridian peanut butter is that it is palm oil free So not only is it delicious it is kind to the orangutan and that really does summarize what a day of low waste eating looks like for me It's just a sample. It's just to give you some ideas it really does vary from day to day But I hope that you can get some inspiration that you can tweak and tailor to suit your own tastes and desires And with that said if you'd like to see more videos like this please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also hit subscribe. And I'd really love to know what are some of your go-to low or zero waste meal ideas. So let me know down in the comments section below so we can all learn together as always. And I'm really looking forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.